Good morning, everyone. We are at the Okeechobee property and we're gonna get some work done today. It's probably been a week or so since I filmed out here. And uh, my mom and I are getting the fish trained. And it turns out there are quite a few more fish in this pond. They, uh, there are a bunch of young brim that are showing up and all the adults, all the brim and bluegill were on beds. And now that they've come off the beds, you could see all the, the young ones that are like two or three inches that are eating. And then as the bread sinks down, there's big ones. It's actually a lot less than usual. Now the big ones are starting to show up. So, I mean, other than shiners, I think all the fish are actually in this pond already that we want. Yeah, a nice brim just came up and ate that. I hope you guys are, are seeing all this. Um, and, and All right, you guys are going to see it better now. You, you see the fish eating everything? This is how she has them trained. The fish just go crazy anytime anything hits the surface. So the, the brim population is going to be real healthy in here. If we put a feeder here that kicks off food every morning, we're going to have awesome fish for the nieces and nephews to catch and as a secondary food source for the monitors. There's plenty of brim here. And there's, what did uh, Tyler and I caught? I think 11 total bass in those two days that we fished after work. And uh, that's good enough for me. Maybe we'll put a, a, a big bass and name it. And uh, I would like to get some shiners established, which is a great bait fish for raising the bass up bigger, but also something great to cast net and feed to the monitors. And so are the brim. Um, and they seem to be doing really well on their own. I don't think I need to, I, there's more brim coming in as she's feeding. They were racing down the shoreline to her. Um, so we've been plugging away on the cages. The, uh, my old house is, I think hitting the market in one week's time. I have knocked out most everything on my punch out list. I think I have a couple things to finish up this weekend. So it's ready for the open house the following weekend. But here's, here's the new house. And obviously it's got a little screened in porch that's gonna need a little work. Screens fixed. There's some rust on the metal work, but we've already hosed it out and threw some patio furniture. Not its permanent location, but so we have a place to sit while we're working. The garage is through that door. But uh, it's very dark in here for me. I'm not going to say anything bad about paint colors because I don't know what colors you guys have in your house. It has the, the wood look tile floors, which is fine with me. But it's, it's just dark. So I'll be doing a Quickly, we've already painted the ceilings throughout the house, just not the kitchen and bathrooms. I'm still changing out light fixtures to see if these new lights are gonna throw enough light. They do tuck in a little bit tighter. Um, think about painting the cabinets and maybe even leaving the countertops in backsplash. Um, and just because I'm saying something that I'm gonna change and you have the same thing in your house, doesn't mean it's not good enough. I just, uh, here's the best way to put it. I have Tim the Tool Man Taylor disease. Anything I get my hands on, I have to modify and change. Doesn't matter if it's uh, a kitchen, a bathroom, a lawnmower. If there's like a, a cam kit for the lawnmower to make eight extra horsepower, I'm probably gonna do it. <laughs> so yeah, there's, Another bathroom in the garage that way. And if we walk down this hallway, will be my office, 
I think we have a rough plan. We need to change out the window sills and stuff. And then I am going to get rid of the tile flooring. Again, nothing wrong with it. Just, I think I'm going to go with a, a laminate wood flooring or a darker wood flooring. The ceiling's already painted, ready for fans and lighting. They, they left all this furniture here. <laughs> so it's just in the middle of the room right now. But uh, nothing exciting. And the master bedroom is super, super dark. It's not giant. So um, probably this afternoon after working outside, we'll come in here and start painting the walls. And all this shelving will come off and it'll probably do something a little more exciting in my closet because there is no door to the closet. It's open to the room. So I'll make that nicer. Um, and obviously the new floors that I'll do in here, but not immediately. Right now, I just need to get the house livable and in here. And it's just me, so I can shuffle from one room to the next, redo the floors and the baseboard, move back into that room. Um, I could use the other bathroom, remodel the master bathroom, and then do the other bathroom. So that I can do when I'm in the house. I'm not worried about that. But just quickly, that's the house. I think we'll just walk out the back door to the enclosures where we have been working our butts off. So coming out the back door. Now Tyler gave me a, a good push and we got quite a few sections done. Uh, and my mom and I have just about kept up the pace. Only we're getting away from, you know, Tyler and I poured most of the straight shots and now my mom and I are getting into the doorways where I have to set like the first enclosure is a five footer and then a 10 footer. And then there's two five footers. So that's going to be screen wall, a doorway. This is the post that the hinges are going to mount on doorway. So there's later going to be a four by four post from this doorway post over there also supporting it, a gusset there also supporting it, and then the concrete that's tying all that in. So this is where we're going to work today. We're going to put these form boards up and onto this wall and pour this section, the section here on the opposite side of the hallway, and then this 15-foot section, which will complete the entire middle backbone of the enclosures and I'll step over this wall here and you can see the other hallway is starting to come we only have the first two enclosures done but I don't need to complete to move in I don't need to complete as much in this hallway I think to move in I only have to move I mean, some of the small animals are on in rolling cages or can be for a time period. There's only three black throats that are with me right now. Tyler took um, some to allow me to have a little bit more room to work with. So I just need three black throat enclosures done. So just one more enclosure in this row. Um, but I need most all the water monitor enclosures done. So we're putting more emphasis over here and getting all of this done um, and I think after we pour I'm gonna go inside and start painting and my mom you see where they had the rows from the um, the nursery this is where the black liner was it's lower and then there was the row where there was the grass which is a little higher so we're going to use, there's a little tool that scratches back the grass roots and just the grass off the surface. So it's about to this level. So just a little bit we're going to scratch off and then set the screen in these small ones. So those floors are ready to pour. And um, I think the next day we work, we'll pour those floor sections. And then the following day, we can use the tractor and go to those piles of dirt that are in the back of the property and 
use the bucket to drop the dirt in here and just rake it smooth and then finish the wood divider wall. And then I can start forming for their slabs for their hide boxes. Oh, well, I think on these it's, well, yeah, hide box and water on the water monitor row. And then just hide boxes. I don't know. We'll figure. There's so much to figure out. <laughs> I, I spent a lot of time planning, but once you get into it, really, this is not enough time to to properly plan or do everything that you want. I think that everyone's gonna get in here. I may even start the water monitors off with mixing tubs for water to get them starter started and then move an animal out of its enclosure for three days and then do its water properly the way I want and then move it back in. And, and I think I'm gonna have to do something like that. I, I really, it's just not enough time. Like what if the other house goes under contract and I have 45 days to finish? I don't have screen. I don't have the first piece of screen on this. I have all the roofs, all the screen all the way around and I put trim over that screen, doors. I still have the demo, a lot of the cages at the other property. There's just so much. And then all my regular stuff to move. Like everything that everyone else would have to move still has to be done. So. I'll probably put you guys on uh, uh, time lapse while we pour these sections. Just a quick break to ask you to like, share, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Now back to the video. end of the week I'm gonna show you where we ended up at um, we've actually did the first wall section for the play area we have the last wall section I'm going to need on the black throat row and we have two floors and I will, I mean, I know I shot a video, this four by fours disappear, we'll walk into this one. We have two of them done. These are just, we're holding the screen down before it was poured. But this is what I'm talking about. It's three layers of screen in the middle, galvanized screen. That is my drainage. The, the, the monitors are gonna dig at the sides of the enclosure to find a weakness. They're, they're not digging in the middle, but there's three layers of galvanized mesh that the concrete is tied into that holds all that. And we're gonna use the tractor to drive. So we left that wall off intentionally. The tractor will grab dirt from our dirt piles, drive in here and dump two buckets, three buckets of dirt in here and we'll fill it up six inches pretty much to the level of that threshold and um and that's going to be the dirt for this enclosure and elevate it over the existing ground so it all want to drain so we'll do that one get the dirt in it and then quickly get this one ready for today and we'll put the floor in this one we'll put the floor in this one and we'll probably put the floor in this one here as well. We are not gonna touch that back row. We're, there's no need to, we're, we're on a time crunch and that's something we're not gonna touch yet. But I don't remember where we were. I think we were forming the beginning of the week over here or something. So we've, 
we finished this whole hallway. We're good all the way to the end. I just need to put my wood on top. So um, I think I need to go to Home Depot and get concrete today to be able to do those floors. Um, I won't be able to get the wood at the same time. That'll be tomorrow. And uh, I'm gonna walk you guys inside. I reviewed that footage and I see it's very echoey. So I'm trying, I'll try not to talk too much. It doesn't really sound good, but I want you guys to see what we got done. Again, we're doing a shift outside. And then once we get everything done outside, then we go inside the house and get what we can done. All right, walking up to the, the back door. We haven't touched, oh. All right, the back door was locked. But you see the old color that, I don't even know what you wanna call it. To me, it's mustard and then the brown wall. But I can hear it's very echoey. We haven't touched anything in the kitchen. So we changed the lights up there and the patches just have their second coat right now and haven't been sanded. But yeah, that's the old wall color right there. Um, and you really don't see how good it looks until the base, it's all cut in and the baseboards are done. But you can see in the guest bedrooms, but then they still have this very commercial looking tile in here. So um, initially to move in, I'll, I'll leave it. Um, but I'm going to pipe just put a laminate dark hardwood floor in here. So this is uh, the master, which was at dark marine. So baseboards cut in twice. So it's kind of good, good to go. New ceiling fan. I think I still going to paint the window sills, the trim color. I need to sand those and get those done and uh getting close so i gotta paint the doors dark 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 i like everything light so it looks bigger but uh walk outside so the the end isn't echoey so that's about what we get done in a week's time i know i just shot a video yesterday of moving the first lizard here, the male sulfur, and he was hiding. I'm gonna be quiet and I think we'll end on him, but he's out. This is Alejandro's male. Your shed. He's pretty. I should put him in, but I don't wanna scare him. He is a shy devil. All right guys, thank you for joining us. Until next time. Thanks for watching everyone. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. See you soon.